This is Elon Musk's latest monstrosity, the Starship Super Heavy. It launched for the first time back in April and exploded around four minutes in. But SpaceX will make it work, and when it does, what will matter then is that it's becoming bigger and more powerful. While Starship is waiting to conduct the next orbital attempt, Musk has even teased future Starships. Let's find out more about this in today's episode of Great SpaceX. Space exploration has always been a quest for innovation and progress, and Starship is not an exception. While the initial prototypes are already impressive, the next generation Starship promises to take space exploration to an entirely new level. Specifically, SpaceX is inching toward increasing the overall Starship engine count to 42. Musk has taken the number 42 as the meaning of life from the science fiction franchise The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Currently the full-stack Starship has 33 Raptor version 2 engines on the Super Heavy Rocket Booster first stage and six engines on the second stage, which is the Starship spacecraft itself. Out of these six engines, three are sea-level engines to provide maximum thrust in the Earth's atmosphere. The other three Raptor vacuum engines are for maneuvering Starship in space with wider Bell exhausts. In the Starship engine bay photo shared by Musk, we can see that there is definitely space for three more vacuum engines in this space. The total current count of Raptors on a fully stacked Starship is 39 engines. With the addition of three RVACs, it'll rise to 42. However, Elon Musk did not give a timeline for when this upgrade will be live on a Starship prototype. Speaking of the meaning of life and understanding the universe, Musk created a new company XAI in the artificial intelligence domain. Since XAI was born on the 12th of July of 2023, Musk decoded the date to 42 as well. But setting aside origin stories, adding another three Raptor engines to Starship, boosting the count from 6 to 9, and stretching its tanks could be a substantial upgrade. Indeed, as we discussed in a previous episode, Musk also declared that the Starship is likely to undergo significant changes in its upcoming versions, potentially becoming 10 to 20 percent longer. This is completely reasonable, according to amateur modelers who are generally able to estimate rocket performance with enough information about its structures, shape, and engines. An optimal nine-engine Starship's tanks will be stretched about 25 percent to store an additional 300 tons of cryogenic liquid oxygen and methane. That upgraded Starship would have a liftoff mass close to 1,600 tons and stand at about 55 meters tall, which is 10% taller than current ships. At stage separation, close to vacuum, a stretched Starship with three sea-level optimized Raptors and six vacuum optimized Raptors should produce at least 2,000 tons of thrust and possibly more than 2,250 tons depending on engine performance performance. At that upper level of thrust, Starship, an upper stage, would be just 10% less powerful than the first stage of the Falcon Heavy, the most powerful, reusable operational rocket in the world. Regardless of its thrust, dimensions, or weight, what matters most is how a stretched nine-engine Starship would impact that overall rocket's launch performance. Compared to a normal Starship with a six-engine upper stage and 33-engine boost, Booster, the stretched ship could theoretically boost the amount of payload the rocket can launch to low Earth orbit from about 150 tons to 220 tons or more, or 330,000 to 485,000 or more pounds, which is an almost 50% improvement. In fact, Per another recent comment from Musk indicating that Starship, unlike almost all other rockets, won't temporarily throttle down on ascent. The total payload performance could be a bit less than 230 tons, which is more than 50% greater than a shorter six-engine Starship. If those estimates are accurate, upgrading Starship with nine Raptors and stretching its tanks is a no-brainer. It might slow development and make all nine engine ships cost a substantial fraction more, but a 50% improvement in payload performance would significantly improve the efficiency of Starship's more ambitious Moon and Mars launch profiles, which require numerous orbital refuelings. In effect, a 50% payload increase would allow SpaceX to complete most refueling tasks more efficiently, quickly, and inexpensively. 
Even if the upgrade plans mean that all starships will be stretched and carry nine Raptors, fully refueling the new starship variant in LEO could require seven tanker launches instead of eight to ten. If SpaceX doesn't mind maintaining multiple distinct starship variants, which appears to be the case, then ships that are exclusively dependent on refueling, Moon and Mars landers in particular, could stay at their current size, with around 1,200 tons of propellant storage and six Raptors. A fleet of upgraded starships could thus refuel their smaller siblings with just five to six tanker launches. However, there's a good chance that the extra mass required to stretch Starship around five and a half meters is minor enough that SpaceX will instead stretch all Starship variants. In fact, for variants like NASA's HLS Moonlander and future Mars-bound starships, which depend entirely on refueling to reach their destinations, stretched tanks and more propellant storage could increase the amount of payload they could send to the Moon, Mars, and other high-energy destinations by quite a bit. Ultimately, it'll be fascinating to hear more details from SpaceX and Musk on how exactly the upgraded starship design might benefit those operations in the coming weeks and months. However, let's come to the million dollar question. Will SpaceX build this bigger and better Starship in 2024? While it's a grand plan, it's one that's been tough to pull off in the near future as at this current time, SpaceX's Starship Mega Rocket was too powerful for its own good. I mean, it's hard to forget that moment. The 40-story Starship Mega Rocket flying towards space for the first time on the 20th of April. At liftoff, the rocket's super heavy booster fired more than two dozen trucks sized Raptor engines at once, blasting the launch pad with up to 15 million pounds of force. That sent debris flying, rained soil and sand on a town five miles away, and left a large crater where the launch pad was supposed to be. Then, 24 miles above the ground, the booster failed to separate, an essential step to allow Starship to continue on to space. That sent the whole rocket tumbling until SpaceX triggered its flight termination system, making the rocket explode. Now, the Federal Aviation Administration is grounding Starship while it investigates. SpaceX needs Starship's unprecedented power in order to realize Musk's dreams of establishing a settlement on Mars. But for now, though, the company is dealing with the fallout. So, to be able to control a more powerful monster, SpaceX will probably need more time in the form of a couple more months, if not years. Otherwise, SpaceX is also filling the manifest of private human spaceflights on Starship and its super heavy rocket. There's billionaire Jared Isaacman's Polaris 3 mission, likely to low Earth orbit, which will be followed by Japanese billionaire Yusaku Maezawa's Dear Moon flight, the first human Starship flight around the moon. Then comes Tito and the second circumlunar mission. SpaceX was also contracted by NASA to fly the first human landing on the moon as part of the Artemis program, but for now, NASA astronauts will launch on a separate rocket and rendezvous with Starship in lunar orbit to go down to the lunar surface and back to orbit. Musk and his team will probably have more time when Starship officially goes into operation. So, it could take a bit, and by a bit, I mean a while. And by a while, I mean several years, if not more, for SpaceX to embark on building the next-gen Starship rocket. 2023 is definitely off the table. The same probably goes for 2024 as well. But SpaceX still has a reasonable chance of making its new-gen rocket during the last quarter of 2025 if NASA's Artemis 3 goes according to plan. But of course, the design process can be finalized in advance. As Musk said, the designing is not hard, the making of it is. And that's it for today, folks. If you want to support our channel and get access to exclusive content, please consider becoming a patron by clicking the link in the description below. We appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.